So I'm going to touch on the brush tool and making um, brushes and also how to save and load them back up. So I'm just going to select this one for this. So I'm going to use my selection tool and I'm going to create a box. Uh, I'll do it over the whole thing actually. So I'm just going to make a big selection. Now what I'm going to do is turn this into a brush. So I'm going to go edit and define brush preset. Now this creates a brush and the size is dependent on how big my document is and how big my selection is. So I can name my brush which is always useful and um, keeps you organized especially if you look at your brushes in text format it's easier to find. So it could be custom brush one. Okay. Now if I select my brush tool with the brush tool we can use it by clicking and, and moving and it will paint depending on what color we have selected. Now we can choose our colors down here by clicking and adjusting our values like so. Now in this top left menu um, I've got my brushes. I can select my new one that I've created and you can see I can now just splat that on the screen like so. So I've created a new brush there. Now, as well as creating the brush, if I click on this icon here that looks like a paint pot with three paint brushes in it, it will toggle the brush panel. Now with this, I can choose a, an existing brush. So here I have my paint splats. And by clicking on these words, we get different adjustments. So you can turn them on by clicking, but if we want to customize them, we need to click on the word themselves. So I can go on shape dynamics. This will adjust the size of it as I brush it. So um, how it's angled, what shape it is. With scattering, so how much it scatters, does it scatter at all? And the count. And we've got a few others that you can have a look and play with. Once you're happy with your brush, how it reacts, you can see it there. Um, I might want to add a bit of color dynamics. Where it changes color. So you see as I draw, it changes color. So if I'm happy with this, I can click this create new brush at the bottom and say custom brush one, two. Now I now have two brushes in my brush set. Two custom ones, you can see here I've got custom brush one, custom brush two. And if I hover over them, it tells me the name. Now they look identical here, so it's very important that we name them so we can remember which one is which. Now, currently these brushes are only on this computer, so if I worked on a different computer, I need to know how to save my brushes and load them up. So by opening this menu, there's a little cog in the corner. So I'm going to click on this cog and I'm going to go down to preset manager. So on my brush size or my uh, where I choose my brushes, I can choose the cog in the corner and click on preset manager. Here we can select brushes that we want like so. Now I'm going to hold down command or if you're on a Windows PC control and select multiple brushes. So these are two that I've created and I'm going to save my set. I can name it so it could be custom brushes set and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Done. So now if I minimize you can see on my desktop I have this icon called brushes. It's called custom brushes set. And if I want to install that on any other computer, all I have to do is take that with me and double click it and it will load up and our brushes are installed. And you can see it's actually installed it twice. Sometimes you can accidentally load them twice or you can find you have too many brushes. So again, we can go into that cog, preset manager, and we can just select the ones we don't want and we can delete them. So there you can save load and delete brushes that you've used.